Hey Canucks fans, hope you're well on the Sunday afternoon. Big news as the Vancouver Canucks have traded defenseman Tucker Pullman and a fourth round draft pick next year to the Colorado Avalanche for defenseman Eric Branstrom. So let's break this down. I was actually hosting a hockey pool earlier today when this trade, when news of this trade broke. We were enjoying a nice lasagna lunch. So I didn't think it was right to sneak away and record a 10 minute vlog in the middle of hosting. But we did a good chat about it. And initial reaction from a couple guys was, ooh, that's a lot to give up, retaining salary and, and the fourth round pick. But most people, I think, were in agreement that this was a great way for the Canucks to say, stay out of LTIR money, a crew cap space, and be in a better position heading into the trade deadline. So I'll break that all down right now. And I, of course, I, as the eternal optimist, I thought it was a great, another win for Patrick Alvine and the Vancouver Canucks. So let's break it down, talk about what it means for the Vancouver Canucks, and let's also talk about what happened at practice today. So a big update coming for you right now. General Manager Patrick Alvine announced today that the Canucks have acquired defenseman Eric Branstrom from the Colorado Avalanche in exchange for Tucker Pullman, 20% salary retained, and a fourth round pick in the 2025 NHL entry draft. So let's talk about who's what's going away first. Tucker Pullman, he signed a four-year, $10 million contract four years ago, and basically played one year, then got injured in October 2022. Hasn't played the last two seasons, so that's the first three seasons of his contract. Had one more year left at $2.5 million. Just kind of sitting there, taking up um, space, basically, unfortunately, because of his concussion issues. The thought was not to go over the salary cap this year, to stay underneath it, including Tucker Bowman's salary, so that what happens is, that we talked about this before, you can accrue cap space throughout the year and then save it up, and then it can free up basically around the trade deadline, and you can add a significant piece at the trade deadline for a deep playoff run. If you don't do that, you go over LTIR, it get, it go over your, the salary cap using LTIR space. It actually gives you more flexibility, except you're not basically accruing cap space throughout the season. So all to say, the Canucks wanted to stay out of that spot this year. They wanted to stay under the salary cap, including injured players, and now by trading away Tucker Pullman, or at least 80% of that 2.5, they are able to do that. So, but we'll get to that in a second. So Tucker Pullman goes to the Colorado Avalanche. I guess they have money. They, they have room to, to place his two, his $2 million contract for them, 80% on their books. And and yeah, so he's he's off of the Canucks roster. Uh, it's really too bad from a, from a personal standpoint. He was okay on the ice. People were worried that he was overpaid, but we only had to actually... Uh, he was only playing for the Canucks for one season, and he missed the majority of the last. Two, he missed the last two seasons basically, which is unfortunate. So good luck to Tucker Pullman in his recovery. Not necessarily on the ice. I don't think he's going to be playing again, but uh, we we do wish him the best. Also going the other way is a fourth round draft pick in 2025. Uh, depends what you think about draft picks. Some people say anything past the second round, three, four, five, six, seven rounds, really a crapshoot. You're not giving up much. You'd rather take an established player, which I'll get to, which Branstrom is. I'll get to that in a second. So it depends how you feel about the fourth round draft pick. Let me know in the comments below. Do you think that was too much to add in? I've always said that you're going to have to add a mid-round draft pick to get rid of Tucker Pullman's salary. And that's what the Canucks indeed did. And they got a decent player on the way back. Finally, 20% retained salary. So 20% of 2.5 million is 500,000, but that's still 500, that's 2 million less than, than what you had when you had Pullman and Pullman was take up a, a spot or at least taking up uh, cap space, but not making an impact for you on the ice. So again, Tucker Pullman and a fourth round draft pick in the 2025 entry draft, and we retain 20% of Tucker Pullman's salary. Coming back, Defenseman Eric Branstrom. He's a left shot defenseman. He's a former first round pick back in 2017. He was picked 15th overall by Vegas. And then Vegas traded him to Ottawa in that big Mark Stone trade in, back in 2019. So he did play 76 games last season for Ottawa. He had 20 points, was a plus five, so not bad. And then he's played 74 games the year before and then a smattering of games uh, before that. So he's had 100, uh, 266 career games played. Uh, 69 points, that's 7 goals, 62 assists. So, um, yeah, he was basically a full-time player for Ottawa for the past two and a half seasons. But then for the Vancouver Canucks, he will start in the minors if he clears waivers, which we expect him to do. I, uh, what type of player is he? He's a decent skater. I've seen some highlights of him um, actually going end-to-end. -end. He, uh, you know, uh, consistently 30 to 40 penalty minutes. So he's not uh, completely passive, but he's not the most aggressive guy you ever see. Uh, and his size, uh, not so big. He's five foot ten, 185. So he's he's uh, he's the opposite of the big hulks that we have on our blue line, except for Quinn Hughes. 
But uh, overall, this is a great depth signing. He will be probably the number one defenseman in Abbotsford and the best left side call out. Remember on the right side, we after our top three, we still have Juleson and Friedman. On the left side, there wasn't much. It was kind of like Christian Wolanin and, and maybe Hirose and Brisebois. So I, I think that uh, Eric Brandstrom, like I said, becomes the first call up on the left side if we need to replace for whatever reason Hughes or, or Susi or Derek Forbert. So we'll see. We'll see what Branson does, but he does give the Canucks some more depth um, on, on the blue line, which is never a bad thing. Now, what this means for the Canucks overall, like I said, is um, the Canucks now, remember, they're saving basically $2 million. bucks. they are saving the 2.5 from Pullman, less 20% that they're retaining. So they're saving $2 million. bucks. With that $2 million, bucks, you can actually have Aturatu, Mark Friedman, or Archie Baines on this roster now because they all make under a million dollars. So together, combined, two of those three guys make uh, less than the two million that you're saving. So the good thing is the Canucks do not go over the salary cap and they can have a full active roster of 23 guys. And that doesn't include Dakota Joshua. Sorry, that includes the salaries of Dakota Joshua and Thatcher Demko, but it doesn't include the roster spots, obviously. So you can have, you can have more than 23 players on your roster, but only 23 can be deemed active. So now the Canucks can dress um, 14 forwards so, and then seven defensemen or 13 forwards and eight defensemen plus their two goalies of Shilovs and Lankin. I'll break it all down in my live stream tonight, but just know that the Canucks will have to send either one of Friedman, Ratu, or Baines down to the minors, but then you can keep two of the other three. So you can send Mark Friedman down and hope you don't lose him on waivers and keep both Ratu and Baines up or send Ratu, one of Ratu or Baines down and keep Mark Friedman up. We will see. Uh, what the Canucks do when they declare their roster tomorrow and we'll talk about it more on my live stream tonight But the biggest thing is they do not will not exceed the salary cap now And they can ice a full roster to start the season Which is a very good thing and as Ian McIntyre says yes The two million dollar savings can pay for two entry-level players Patrick Alvin has delivered our, on his goal to stay out of LTIR and maintain cap flexibility Finally, let's talk about uh, how the Canucks practice today. No Connor Garland for a second straight practice. Um, Rick Toggett said he hopes that Garland is ready for the home opener on Wednesday. I sure hope so too. So this is how the Canucks lined up. Now you have, um, you basically have Suter returning from his injury, which is good, but Garland is on the second straight day. So same top six, Miller, Besser, Heinen, Pedersen, DeBrus, Strong. Then you had Aturatu between Hoglander and Suter who took Sherwood's spot. Sherwood gets bumped back to the fourth line. It's Bluger between Oman and Sherwood. And then Baines um, as the extra skater. Then Hughes, Hironic, Susie Myers, Forbert, Dernay, Friedman, and Juleson. No surprise there. And then on the, they did power play as well. You had the big five of Besser, Miller, DeBrus, Pedersen, and Hughes. And then the second unit had Hrong. Uh, who's Hrong? <laughs> I combined Sprong and, and Hronik, or Hronik and Sprong. You had Hronik, Sprong, Heinen, Baines, and Niels Hoglander. So second unit, not as good, but they, uh, they scored a goal last game in, against Edmonton on Friday, which is pretty cool. So that's where we're at with the way the Canucks practice. The biggest news, Suter back, but Connor Garland still missing. We'll see what happens, how they declare the roster on Monday, but more importantly, we'll see who plays on Wednesday night. So Canucks fans, so much to talk about. Would love your reaction to the Tucker Pullman trade. I think it's a win for the organization for all the reasons I outlined, but I'd love to know what you think. Put it in the comments below. And then also, don't forget to join me for my live stream tonight at 11 p.m. where we'll break this down even more, more detail, and we'll project what the Canucks will do tomorrow when they have to declare their roster by 2 p.m., I believe, 2 p.m. Pacific. So I hope you join me tonight at 11 p.m. right here on this YouTube channel. Shout out to my sponsors, Van City Experts Real Estate, Coach Patrick Liu, Weight Loss Coach. Thank you, legendary Lucas Gates, legendary Andrew Chang, Hall of Fame franchise members. And thanks to all of you for watching, liking, and subscribing. On your way out, subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video, helps me out. You can leave a donation, become a member, upgrade your membership, and definitely leave a comment down below your thoughts on this Tucker Pullman for Eric Branstrom trade. See you tonight at 11 p.m. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves, and take care of each other. God bless, and go Canucks go.